Hello chemists and welcome to another episode of Bale's Chemistry. In today's episode I'm talking about Hess's law and using the enthalpy change of formation. This is part of the energetics topic and can appear on paper one or paper two of the AQA A-level specification. If you find these videos useful for your revision, hit the subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of my new content. This is Jermaine Henry Hess. He came up with Hess's law. Hess's law states that the enthalpy change of a chemical reaction is always the same even if you carry out the chemical reaction by a different route. So if we look at a simple chemical reaction, the energy change of going directly from the reactants to the products is the same as if we go from the reactants to an intermediate and then onto the products. In this episode, we're focusing on the enthalpy of formation. The enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements under standard conditions in their standard states. If we look at the example of sodium and chlorine react together to make sodium chloride, we can write out the equation for the enthalpy of formation as below. We use half a Cl2 to make one mole of NaCl. In another example where we take aluminium and oxygen and combine that together to make aluminium oxide and write out the equation, again you can see we've used the right multiples of the reactants to ensure we only get one mole of the products. When answering questions on Hess's law, we can often draw a Hess cycle to show the chemical reactions taking place. We start with our chemical reaction where reactants are turning into products and for formation we place the elements at the bottom and show the formation reactions taking place to form both the reactants and the products with arrows. This forms our alternative route. In an exam question we'll always be given enthalpy data to help us answer the question. We don't need to go away and learn all these. But we must however remember that the enthalpy change for the formation of an element is always zero. So we'll look at the example of constructing a simple Hess cycle. We'll write out the equation we're looking at along the top and then we'll add the elements in below. We'll draw arrows to show the enthalpy change of formation reactions taking place and then we'll add in the values for each reaction, remembering that the enthalpy change of an element is always zero. We'll then look at the simple calculation of enthalpy change equals products minus reactants. We'll take the sum of the products and we'll minus away the sum of the reactants to leave us with minus 135.8 kilojoules per mole. This is a slightly more complicated example. In this example, we're given the overall enthalpy change for the equation, but asked to work out the enthalpy change of formation for water. We set up the Hess cycle just like before, writing out the elements and then drawing on the arrows and adding in the data from the question. Once you have all that in place, it's time to start the calculations. It can be easier to rearrange the equation before you put any numbers in. When we add the numbers in, we need to remember to multiply the value for ammonia by four, as we have four NH3 present in the reactant side. And in the last step of this reaction, we need to divide the answer by six because we make six waters in the product side. Also, don't forget to add on your units. It can be useful to summarize that calculation into five easy steps. First, always draw a Hess cycle. Most questions will give you marks for showing a completed cycle. Second, find the values from the question and add them in. Third, calculate the totals for the enthalpy of reactants. Fourth, then calculate the total for enthalpy of products. And then the last step, carry out the calculation for the enthalpy change. Remember, formation is always products minus reactants. Let's summarize the episode into a final recap. Formation of reactions are always to make one mole. So make sure you half any reactants to make only one mole of the product. The enthalpy change of formation for an element is always zero. Always draw out a Hess cycle to show the alternative route. This often scores you extra marks in an exam. Arrows for formation reactions always go upwards from the elements to the products or the reactants. And then when we're working with formation data, we always do enthalpy change equals products minus reactants. If you found this video useful for your vision, please hit the thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.